Hey there, welcome back to a new video on how to adjust your Excel document for printing the right way. If you're having trouble getting your Excel sheets on just one page and are constantly trying to change your column size to fit it all together, then you need to watch this video. In this video, you'll learn how to scale your Excel document to make it fit to just one page, center lining your document, changing the printing margins and setting up a custom printing area. So let's start with this example document. In this document, I've put some fictional data just for demonstration purpose, which we would like to print on just one page. If for example, I would try to print this document right now by going to file, print, I notice the document is spread over four pages. This is of course not ideal. So how do we put this Excel document on just one page? Let's go back to editing our document and then we press the page layout tab. In this tab, we have all our buttons to fix our situation. Let's start by pressing the print button at grid lines. You'll now see the gray dashed lines where the document is split into multiple pages. Next, we are going to adjust the width and set it to one page. You'll notice the vertical dashed grid lines are gone, but the horizontal lines are still there. If we look at the print preview at the moment by going again to file, print, you'll see that the document is now horizontally split over two pages. Let's go back to our document and change it so that the whole document is just on one page. Now we're going to adjust height and set it from automatic to one page as well. You'll notice the horizontal dash grid lines are gone as well. And the scaling is now changed to 75%. Let's now see what the print preview of our document looks like. Finally, this looks much better already. Let's continue by centering our Excel document on the printing page just to make it prettier. Click on page setup, go to the tab called margins and press horizontally on the center on page section. Finish by pressing OK. You'll now have an Excel document look pretty on just one page centered horizontally. So what about margins? If you want to put a lot of information on just one page, like with this document, every square centimeter of your paper counts. So let's adjust the margins as well. You press the margin button and choose narrow. If this does not change the amount of space being used by your document, you can also fill in custom margin specifications. Press the margin button again, followed by custom margins. Then for instance, let's change the top and bottom to 0.25 and press OK. You'll now notice the document is even more spread over the whole page and scaling has been increased. An important note is that you have to make sure your printer is able to print with such small margin Otherwise, you'll have to roll back to the fixed narrow margin as we chose before. Next up is the printing area. This is the area that defines which part of the document is printed on your paper. Excel normally draws a square around the first cell on the top left of your document and to the most used right and most used bottom cell. So for instance, if I place a note in some extra cells on the right of a document like this, it will also affect how the page is printed when we look at the print preview again. This is not what we want, so let's change the printing area. Head back to editing our document and going to the page layout tab again. Now let's first select the cells we do want to print. For instance, select from A1 to L86. Then we press print area followed by set print area. If we now check our print preview, we will see that only the selected cells will be taken into account for printing. And that's how you customize your printing area. Together with defining the width and height of scaling your page, these options are very easy and useful for creating good looking print. In case you want to revert the printing area back to automatic, you press print area again, followed by clear print area. So that's it for how to adjust your Excel document for printing the right way. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I can make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and until the next how to video.